I'm John from Sleep Group Solutions and I'm going to go over how to hook up an umbleta on a patient and give them instructions to go home and do a study. So and I have Dr. Goodwill here that's going to be our model tonight. <coughs> so what I want to do is just kind of take this umbleta. The only thing that's done so far on the device is that we've programmed the patient's name, we put in some basic demographic info, uh, and we also told it when it's going to turn on and turn off. Uh, so tonight, just you know, we kind of just arbitrarily pick some times, but it's going to turn on at midnight. It's going to turn off about six hours later. So we'll have a good six hour chunk of time. I know we're in Vegas, so try, try to be in bed around midnight as, as best you can. <laughs> All right, so the umbleta itself is going to strap kind of just to the center of your chest, like right down here. You can hold on to it and we'll just walk around and we'll pass the belt over. And then we'll just Velcro it back onto itself, like that. <clears throat> so that should be comfortable. It should stay in place easily while you're standing up, but not so tight that it's, it's constricting or hurting. Just, you know, comfortably in place. And I'll have you hook all these up so you can kind of get a feel for how everything fits and how it's going to go when you're home. The proxy, which is where all the things plug into, are going to plug, is going to plug square into the top here. So that just fits in that open port on the top. And just kind of find where it goes and push all the way down real firm. Very good. So we've got to hook up our two respiratory effort belts. And you can see they're labeled. One of them's, one of them's blue, one of them's yellow. And they're labeled abdomen and thorax. So one's going to go on your stomach, kind of around your belly button level, and the other one's going to go under your armpits, across your chest. So let's put the abdominal belt on first, and you can see with these clips, all they do is just snap. So you just kind of break them away and they'll snap together. So you can snap this one in place and just kind of pass it around. The gray side should be facing out. There you go. So you can snap it on. And you can see it's kind of loose right now. Like there's not enough tension on there. It's important with these belts. You can see they're very, very stretchy. They need to be, there needs to be some tension on this. Not all the way loose, not stretched to the max, just kind of just tight. So what you'll do is if, if it's a loo little loose like that, take the Velcro like you got right there and just kind of fold it over onto itself and you see that other spot to clip it to. And, and so in, in doing that, You've tightened it up enough that, you know, there's enough tension now. So we're going to do the same thing with the thorax belt. And this one I've already kind of doubled over on itself a little. So this one's going to go again around. And just kind of snap it onto itself. Very good. So belts are going to go like that. They're going to plug into the color-coded ports, and you can see there's a yellow and a blue plug on the front of that proxy. So just plug it into the appropriate color. They only fit one way. Make sure you push down real firm so it's all the way in. The flat side goes towards the back. So it's going to go just like that. Yep. Okay, so you got those two. The next piece is going to be the pulse oximeter sensor. It needs to go on your fingertip. So I've got the sensor kind of halfway placed in this little wrap that's going to hold it on your finger. The best way to deal with this tonight, first of all, would be to, again, color code it. So this is the brown plug, plugs into the brown port there on the end. So you can go ahead and plug that one in. Again, kind of just look how it fits. <laughs> And this one fits like that. Okay, uh, you're going to wear all of this, the belts, that, the whole unit, everything wears over top of a t-shirt. So you're going to wear just a t-shirt to bed. Typically what we'll do with this one is just run this cable up. Usually we'll just kind of put it into your shirt collar and then it's going to come down your arm to your fingertip where this sensor will go. Now the best way to put this sensor on when I've kind of got it halfway prepared for you here, you're going to take the side with the writing on it, put it flat down on a table, peel the cover completely off so that the sticky side's exposed. 
Then you're going to take your finger, we'll just use your index finger here, you're going to put it over top of that first sensor okay. and fold the little tabs up on the side. Okay. And we're going to fold the other piece over top and you'll see that once we've done that, there's a picture of a finger there so you know you've got it in the right place. It's very, very important. This, of course, just wraps all the way around afterwards. It's very important that when you look at this, once it's on your finger, line up those two little black bumps. Make sure they're lined up straight with each other. Adjust it if you need to, but make sure they're square. Okay. All right? Um, let's see. The only other uh, thing to think about, and I see it's not going to be a problem, but uh, you want to make sure you don't have any acrylic nails, nail polish, that type stuff would block the sensor. Very, very last thing, annula. This is going to screw down onto that metal port there on the side. So just kind of screw it on until it stops. The cannula itself is going to go kind of like this. And these, you can see there's, there's kind of a hook to these. They're going to face you. If they're a little long, you can trim a little bit off, like just snip them with scissors or something. Um, they should be okay. Cannula is going to go in your nose and then over your ears and then just kind of run the wire down under your chin and then there's a little kind of a lock here that you're just going to slide up into place so it just kind of holds it there, okay? Um, if the cannula is irritating, like I said, you can trim it down. Um, there'll also be some tape in here so you could take some of these excess cables and coil them up and just tie them so it keeps them into place, but that's it. It's going to turn on all by itself. It's going to turn off by itself. Don't worry about pushing any buttons. If you have to get up to go to the bathroom, just let it run. And that's it. When you get up in the morning, the lights will all be off. Uh, take the unit off. You can throw the cannula away. Take it all off your finger and just pack it back up in the case and, and bring it back to us.